Okay, next up, we are talking about the RS skate skis. Within the RS family, we have three models. The RS7, entry into the RS world. The RS8, and our last ski that I don't have a sample of is the RS skate. So three skis, RS standing for racing skate. And again, straight cut construction on these guys, the um, Densolite core as well. What changes is the wrap around that Densolite core. So on the seven level ski, you'll have two layers of fiberglass that wraps that Densolite core and the cap construction. On the eight, you'll have two layers of fiberglass, but a carbon laminate that covers it. So a little bit more responsiveness on the eight. And on the RS skate, you'll have a pure carbon laminate. Uh, we also call that core D carbon core as well. In terms of bases, you'll go to a G3 base uh, in the seven. So middle of the row, great to learn on. Uh, G4 base for the eight and G5 base for the RS skate. So again, a good, better, best story on your wall. Um, you'll see the 7 and the 8. Um, uh, the 8 and the RS skate have the same dimensions in terms of side cut goes. The 7 is a little bit wider than the 8, making the 7 a little easier to learn on. So it's our price point entry into the skate world. Great to learn on um, and a little friendlier on the retail price as well. In terms of your best bang for your buck, uh, recommending if a skier comes in off the street, either it's a runner, a biker, a triathlete, etc., that's fit, um, whether they've skied before or not, doesn't matter. Um, I would highly recommend starting them off on the eight. Might be a little, little harder to learn on than the seven, but ultimately they'll have a lot more top end to improve upon by going on the eight. And the RS Skate is a great ski in the range uh, at 469 retail. However, with the carbon bling that's just above it, uh, it's a nice upgrade to go to that S Max X Race that we'll talk about in a little bit. All right, and to complete the RS uh, family or skate family, we're going to talk about the RS boots. Within the RS boots, we've got the RS8 and the RS. And to complement a little bit, we've added the combi boots, so the R combi and the Pro combi. So starting off with our best-selling skate boot is the RS8 and the Vitan version. Both of these boots priced at $299 are an awesome boot to get you started. So it matches up with its namesake on the ski side, so RS8 skate boot with the RS8 skate ski, so it's a perfect match. Um, what you get out of the RS8, um, it's a nice stiff ski, so unlike the classic boots, you want that responsiveness. So these are actually, again, stiff, uh, which is the way you want it, so that all that power pushing off goes straight into the ski. You get an adjustable Velcro strap, our energy Energizer uh, ankle cuff, which has been around for years. Just basically promotes good technique and gives you a little bit of energy return. Center zip is for easy access and a nice Kevlar quick lay system for that nice wrap and foothold as well. You do get uh, an external, so a little improvement from previous years, external Achilles adjustment so that it's nice and snug around the Achilles, limiting heel slippage. And otherwise, um, we've gone to branded thin slide insulation as well for that extra warmth. So super comfy out of the box, very warm, nice generous fit as well, and a great performance edge to the RS8 and the RS8 Vitan boots. Going up a notch to the RS Skate, what do you get? You get away from a lot of the stitching that was in the RS8 boots, so um, that anytime you limit the amount of holes that you're putting into the boot, you just add a little bit better, better weather, weatherproofing. Uh, but ultimately, same key uh, features, center zip, um, disassociated quick lace uh, on here so just like the rc10 level boot here we have those uh, two-tone quick lace so different routing around the foot just promoting an even more even sort of wrap more gradual less pressure points on the foot itself 
We also add custom fit to the boot. So again, thermal moldable material on the back half, which will mold, take away the hot spots and pressure points around the boot. We're adding carbon fiber, a uh, little bit extra awesome to the underside of the boot. Again, making it a little lighter and super stiff as well. Uh, and that Achilles adjustment as well on the back. So ton of features, probably our warmest performance boot. No Thinsulite on this one, just like at the upper end on the classic side, this skier is generating their own heat. Um, and so we've just got a regular neoprene booty on the inside, still super warm, just doesn't have that extra layer of Thinsulite that is required for that RC, or sorry, RC9 or RS8 level boot on the skate side. On the combi side, we've got two models. Uh, again, a better best story on the wall. Your Pro Combi, which has been around for quite a few years, and the R Combi is our price point version. Both of these are great complements for that skier that wants to save a little money and not have to buy the classic versus skate boots. The Pro Combi is built very similar to the RS8. You'll notice a lot of similarities between both. Uh, the main difference, to be honest, is in the flexibility where the RS8 is actually quite stiff and transfers that power very well. We've added some flexibility in the toe box here so that you can actually use this boot as a classic specific boot. You can actually sell it as a uh, classic boot as well just with extra ankle uh, protection. So it's really versatile as far as a uh, combi boot goes. So it's probably still a little bit better as a skate boot than classic boot. I would say probably... 60% of the time um, as far as performance for skate, uh, whereas 40% would be the performance on uh, as a classic specific boot. Super warm and side zip as well to keep the elements away. On the air combi side, you get a downgrade a little bit on the ankle support, a little lower, and but you still get the quick lace system on the inside, again with that side zip to keep the elements away.